Welcome back everyone. So this is part de of my de part uh, video in regards to the good and bad of the Pentax K3 Mark III autofocus system. I'm, I've got to let you guys know something. So I went out shooting uh, earlier today and uh, just shooting some gulls uh, over by uh, the lake and um, just before I actually went to shoot, I thought to myself, like, th there's got to be something that I'm missing. I've gone through every single element regarding the autofocus and all the different settings and all the different parameters and all the various options. And there, there's got to be something, something that's just not, I don't know, just something that's off. So I decided, you know what, let, sometimes the best thing to do is just start over again. So... I jotted down all my settings and everything, and then I factory reset the camera. <gasps> what? Yes, I factory reset the camera, put all my settings and everything back in, and slapped me silly with a spatula, but somehow I, that was enough. Uh, the full auto autofocus with subject recognition, whether it was zone or full autofocus, worked significantly better than it has since the day I got the camera. And I have reset the camera before, um, but I, I, I don't know what the second reset did. I don't, maybe something just wasn't communicating properly. I, I can't explain it. All I can do is show you guys on the back of the screen the actual autofocus points and the sharpness of each image that it actually did capture. The tracking is actually very, very good. Uh, and there were still some issues uh, in regards to the camera not picking any autofocus points whatsoever uh, when it was very clear what I was aiming at. It just didn't pick anything at all. And uh, the same thing of, you know, a bird in the water, it'll just randomly pick another autofocus point in the water when, you know, dead center is the actual, uh, you know, bird that you're trying to shoot. It just ignores it and just randomly picks something else. So there are still some elements that need improvement, but in regards to, uh, you know, birds in the sky flying with full auto autofocus with subject recognition on, now that I've reset the camera again, uh, it, it's, I guess, everything's actually starting to mesh together properly. Uh, th this was not the experience that I had before, and it, I'm, I'm very, very happy. This is like, it's like getting a new camera again. It's, it's, it's pretty cool. But anyway, uh, you know, just to keep everything as uh, uh, unbiased as possible to show you guys exactly what I'm talking about, I will go through the images and you'll see everything that I shot. Okay, so the shots that I actually took today. Um, all right, so here's a seagull, uh, plain background for the sky, uh, AFC, you can see all the information here, 16, 1 1/1600th of a second, f6.3, ISO 160 at 300 millimeters, and there's the autofocus point that the camera chose. And this was with subject recognition on using full auto autofocus. And it actually, I was surprised, it actually came, it's a li it looks like it's a tad bit off actually just ever so slightly unfortunately um, now something that actually did happen which uh, really did surprise me uh, after these initial images uh, actually let me go back to the one before that so you can see where the focus point was and when I zoom in that is the focus point that it's going to pick so you can see it's actually not on the seagull itself. Again, this is with subject recognition on, and there's the center point. And I mean, it's not terrible. Maybe just slightly off, just a tad bit. And this one, let me just go back, zoom in again. So this one actually nailed uh, just along here. Nailed the. Uh, wing and the center is back there so let's just go all further than 100 percent take a look that yeah, looks okay next one 
just in front of the bird, just in front of the gull, and that one looks, that one, that one's okay. And the next one, again, this is all the subject recognition on, so it captured a wing. And uh, let's see, so where is the center point on this one? The center point is nothing. <laughs> okay, so the next one uh, is captured just behind the seagull. Now, I actually, uh, I have a thought in regards to this, and my thought is the fact that the amount of autofocus points, oh, looks like it dropped whatever it had in its mouth before. Uh, the amount of autofocus points uh, versus is, uh, you know, because I do leave the subject tracking with the exposure uh, sensor active. So I think the autofocus tracking uh, is having an issue in regards to only having 101 focus points versus the 307,000 pixels of tracking assistance from the exposure meter. I think that's where there is some issue uh you know with some of these shots now i went into zone autofocus and again this is with subject recognition on this one might be just ever so slightly off and the next one and where is the center on this okay so it's there so it's pretty much yeah dead center as you can see right there now let's go back to the one before that. So dead center is there. That's where I was actually aiming, but the camera picked up down here. So the next one over is just the rear of the bird. Center point is behind. So I, at this point, I was trying to allow uh, some variance uh, in regards to not focusing specifically on the center point, but using uh, the display in the viewfinder in regards to keeping the bird within the autofocus array area without keeping it directly dead center. Because uh, I wanted to see if it actually was achieving a success rate. And th these are all pretty good. Now, <laughs> with these ones, I actually, you know, I was trying to figure out why, I, I mean, I, I expected this camera to actually work very, very well and it does what i actually did was i actually took the time and i reset the i wrote down all my settings and everything and i reset the camera and then i went out to shoot and honestly it was a night and day difference it actually is recognizing things and capturing them as i would have expected and here we have uh you know me shooting an sel which is a little it's a little off which I think is back to the correlation of uh, the autofocus uh, the autofocus points versus the 307,000 pixel exposure meter assisting the autofocus points I always leave that on um, that that's just me you know but overall after resetting the camera I was actually very very surprised at how well the full auto autofocus and zone autofocus actually started working. Uh, it, it was not the previous experience that I had. There were some anomalies um, you know, in regards to what you can see right here. There is no autofocus point along this array whatsoever. And that is something that I noticed even before resetting the camera. Um, maybe it, it, it very well could be that the shot is actually going off in between autofocus point selection. Uh, but again, I have it in uh, focus priority, so it shouldn't even be doing that. And here I used AFS uh, with subject recognition on on uh, a duck that was in the water. So let's see. So where exactly did this primarily focus? It would primarily focused right along this area here. And the center point is right here. So there's still, I don't know, I mean, it, it's really, you know, and then this here is on the neck and the center point is right at the head. 
So there are still some anomalies in regards to how this whole thing is working, and that's just off to the edge. Center point again is the head. You know, so there, there's still the, the algorithm's not perfect. I mean, there's it's just not perfect. Um, you now and then I went back to AFC. Let me just go back here. Yeah, so I went back to AFC, and once again, this is where it picked up, but I was actually focusing on the head itself. Uh, and this one, yeah, this is where it picked up, and that's exactly where I wanted it. And this one here, again, it picked uh, the breast area, or, I don't know, chest? Yeah, sorry, chest area. And, uh, you know, that's the center point, which is the head, which is where I was aiming. And once again, same thing, All right? So there are some inconsistencies. I don't know why it always seems to default to a lower area. And then there were some people on a boat heading out in the water and I, you know, I decided to shoot them. And so that's where the camera focused is right along this area here. And the center point is the dude pretty much. Uh, the next one, this is the problem that I've been trying to explain. It picked the water as the focus point when the center point is actually closer to the boat itself. For whatever reason, it decided that the water was actually an easier thing to focus on. I'm, and th this has been the experience that I've had in regards to shooting the birds. Uh, but after resetting the camera, for whatever reason, shooting the birds actually wasn't as bad as what I was used to previously. Uh, but again, see here, there's no autofocus point selected whatsoever. I believe it's still sharp, but there's just no autofocus point selected or in this one either. Next one, okay, pick there. So just along, just about where the beak is. And this one here, wingtip, is where it decided to focus. So, you know, and the, the rest of them are pretty much the same. It's just slightly off of where I would have expected the focus to actually be. And this one here, there is no focus point whatsoever. Which is fine. I mean, that, that's pretty much right, like, just outside the focus area. Uh, this one here, once again, and this one's okay. Center is there. Next one, center. And I was trying to get the camera to actually track as, you know, the, as the gull moved around. I wasn't trying to focus directly on the center element. But, I mean, this is, this is the center of the frame. And this is where the camera actually picked up. So it grabbed a wing and it grabbed a wing. Oh, actually it grabbed nothing, nothing there. And now I'm going to press the joystick in. So there's the center point, which is just below. Next one, wing tip area. Okay, there's the center point. And then I switched over to SEL, which is my pretty much my default. And let's see how that turned out. So there we go. That's the center point. And this is where the camera focused. Next one, that's where the camera focused. That's, that, one's, that one's off. That one's way off, which is interesting because I have it set to focus priority. And then there's nothing. Nothing's in focus, so it says. Yeah, that's a little off. But it's ironic that this is saying that this is in focus when clearly it's not. However, this one's not even as bad as the last one. And this one is showing that nothing at all was in focus. This one here, that one's good. Actually, no, it's slightly out. Again, nothing in focus. But that's actually pretty good. Again, nothing in focus. And I was using the shutter button, so it's not like 
you know, I was using back button focus and taking my finger off the button. I was using the shutter button itself. And this one here, that's good. That one's pretty good. It's all right. So yeah, and I mean, it, it just went on and then I went back to auto. That one's showing there's nothing in focus. This one's showing no focus points at all either, which that one's out. This one here, it's not too bad. And this one is pin sharp. This one is good. I like this one. It's like the old wise bird. I like all these patterns that it's got on the bottom there too. But overall, uh, you know, honestly, after resetting the camera, I was actually, I was very shocked at how much better it was automatically picking things up uh, using the subject recognition. So I think that's actually, uh, th that could very well be, at least for things in flight, it was picking it up. Now, this here uh, was a duck, or yeah, I think it was a duck that was in the water. I focused on the duck dead center and this is where the camera focused once again there's the duck so you know th th there's still some anomalies in regards to this autofocus system I mean you can see here where it picked up the autofocus and it is pretty far and away from the actual duck and then I switched over to SEL instead of auto and I focused on the duck. Still a bit off though. Uh, it could be the just the haze. Uh, you know, it, it was it was extremely hot, very very hazy as well. Uh, but overall, for the auto element, you know, of birds in the sky without something distracting in the background, the camera actually did remarkably well. Way better than I've experienced. Period at any other time for the entire time I've owned the camera. Uh, and that was just from biting the bullet and literally resetting the camera. Uh, so that could very well be what the actual issues are. I mean, it shouldn't be an expected thing. You shouldn't do a firmware update and then have to reset the camera every single time. Uh, but it could be, you know, runaway programming within the software that's just causing it to act erratic. You reset it and then it starts working again until the next time, right? So that is one thing to keep in mind. So there you have it. Uh, that is the Pentax K3 Mark III, good and bad of the autofocus. As I said, after I reset the camera, things progressively got better, uh, like night and day difference compared to the tracking capability I was used to uh, before. Um, again, I'm not sure exactly what wasn't communicating properly or what piece of software just wasn't getting the right bits or something or other, but it seems to be working a heck of a lot better now. Now I can understand, you know, the people on the forums, uh, you know, trying to help us with the K3 Mark III. If they haven't had the issues that some of us have actually expressed, it could just very well be their camera just hasn't had these issues and they don't know what we're talking about. Uh, so for those who do have the K3 Mark III and you're having issues, I. I flat out, I recommend just doing a reset of the camera and just start over again. See if that actually fixes it the way it did for me. Uh, with that said, as you could see uh, previously in the video, uh, you know, the simple element of the algorithm still is a little, it's a little off uh, in some instances, you know, the bird, the duck that was in the water, you know, picked an autofocus point way off in the distance somewhere else, not even close to the actual subject you were intending. But overall, it, it, it is vastly, it is vastly better. Still has some work that needs to be done on it. Uh, and it would be nice if we actually had a selective menu in regards to, you know, what is it you're trying to target, you know, people birds, dogs, you know, cars, or whatever else is pre-programmed in uh, the subject recognition system, it would be nice to actually be able to tell the camera what it is that it should be looking for. I think that may be part of the issue as well. Uh, but yeah, 
that's pretty much it. So if you like the video, leave a like. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. Helps me out. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. If you'd like to support the channel, I leave that information at the bottom of the description as well, which is above the comments. You already knew that. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Time for me to go. Again, I, I can't believe resetting the camera actually made that much of a difference. I don't even know why I didn't think of that before. Hopefully it's not a matter of every single firmware update you have to reset the camera because that would just be horrible. But uh, yeah, some word from Pentax would actually be great. Um, yeah, but anyway, that's enough of that. Uh, you guys will see me on my next video. I'm out.